know, for me, it was, it was this movie was a challenge. It was a challenge, and I said, I think, and I'm perverse. I love challenges, so I always reach for something that makes stretches me out. And uh, I said, wow, 80% of this movie is two guys on the phone with each other. And then, you know, and with Brian and our research, we found a role model for Denzel. We found a role model for John. Not a role model, but real guys. You know. And so it was, it was, it, it was, it was scary because it, it could become very flat, just that there's two hands. But the 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 actors are great, the words were great, and then I just used my camera to, to support the emotion that I'm getting from the actors. Yeah, so, and I kept the two actors apart for the duration of the movie. I never let them get together till they did it in real time. You know what I'm saying? And when they're down the subway. So John and Denzel, they shook hands once at the beginning of the movie, and then I kept them separate so they're, they're always on the other end of the phone to each other which is good because i watch them feel themselves feel each other out through their through their characters yeah so it really you know it sounds like an actor thing but it's but it's a great thing especially with those guys because they're brilliant you know denzel and john are the, are, are the greats it is a very different movie and hostage negotiators didn't exist in 74 but i found a a, a real guy called jack cambria who'd done over 150 hostage negotiations and he was the role model for john Turturro. So John met him and went, damn, keep him around. So he, everything, John, the suit, the tie, the shirt, the haircut, that was all, that was Jack Cambria. So see, it's good for actors when you give them, you give them real people, because otherwise they're trying to reach back into the, the you know, the, the darkness of the mind and trying to pull out these characters for, from their imagination. And, uh, and it's great when you have a real guy standing there. And I give all, I give, I do all this research and I cast it in, in the real world first and that informs me about who the actors are in the movie. Then I give the real guys to the actors. Denzel's tough. He's tough because he's always reaching for difference. He's always reaching to make it better. Um, and, uh, and what I love about him, he can do nothing and communicate everything. And as Denzel said to me, John's the guy. Five seconds. Okay. Five.